Um, I like I like um, also in classic. I like the um, uh, collecting um, resistance. So that's that's another thing that I'm wondering if Blizzard is gonna allow resistances in classic. For example, if you as a warrior stack a full set of resistance gear, a frost mage can't kill you. The frost mage can't do any damage to you. Um, if you equipped a full set of uh, fire resist gear, a fire mage can't do anything to you. Um, I'm wondering if Blizzard's gonna allow that. Being able to stack things and do crazy stuff like that, you know? I feel like they don't want that to happen. I think uh, Blizzard is, is, uh, has turned each expansion uh, to make it more fun for the casuals, right? For casual players. And I feel like, I feel like in vanilla, they might do the same thing. That's my fear. That's my wor worry. I'm not saying it. They're gonna do it. I'm just I'm worried that they might. Swifty doesn't have arenas though, so stacking one kind of resist uh, will just mean that you're seriously weak against another. Yeah, exactly right. Soren L. Yeah, if you stack a bunch of frost resist, a lot of that frost resist gear or fire resist gear had no stats. It basically only had resistance to frost, and that's it. It had no strength. It had no crit. No mastery, no nothing. It just had flat resist. So yeah, if you equip all that stuff, your health pool goes down. So yeah, you'll you'll probably get wrecked if any melee class hits you. But you'll be able to beat mages. Um, there, but the thing is, there might be like the one thing that I'm really really scared is uh, templates, and I really hope that templates don't make it to classic. You know, Chinglish would have a would have right now be like, where did you hear that? Where did you hear they're adding templates? And I'm like, no, I didn't hear that they're adding templates. No. Right now, Blizzard doesn't know what they're going to do with the PvP gear. Because the PvP gear is too powerful. So they don't know when they're going to add PvP gear. And they're, so it makes me believe that they're, that they're trying really, really hard to balance it. There are six different uh, phases. And then uh, the, the PvP gear that hasn't, been, hasn't been added to that yet. Um, but it leads me to believe that they're trying to, you know, really balance the classes. Or not classes, really balance the game. And what's the best way to balance the game? Templates. Talison says there's no templates. I hope so, man. I hope you're right. Because I don't, I personally don't want templates. And if I see templates in Classic, I'm going to be very, very angry. The Classic team is very passionate about delivering a vanilla experience. The Classic will be the same as it was, no balance. You know what I want to ask? You know what questions I want to ask a developer? If a developer is in front of me and I get to ask him questions and he'll, he'll answer me truthfully, are you going to nerf all the items in Classic that were nerfed in, in subsequent expansions? Like for example, Skull of Impending Doom, is that nerfed? Mail of Invulnerability, is that nerfed? Uh, when he says templates, he's talking about weapon normalization? No, 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 I'm talking about like PvP, PvP templates, like for example, when you duel right now in Classic. All right, let me show you. Would you like to see wild tokens in Classic to reduce the amount of gold sellers? It, that That's tricky because um, I feel like if Blizzard does add it, then people will complain. And if Blizzard doesn't add it, there'll be there'll be a bunch of gold farmers in the chat. And then that that's bad for the game also. So I don't, I don't know. Blizzard's have, gonna have to figure that out. How to avoid gold sellers from selling gold in the Classic servers? How to prevent gold sellers from making farming bots. What I really liked about, here, here's the thing. Right now, right now, on live servers, do I go out in the world and farm ores and herbs? No. What's the point? Farm ores and herbs to sell them in the auction house? No. There's no demand for it. That's, that's, that's only for PvE, you know? But in Classic, there was an economy. In classic, if you farmed herbs, you made gold. Like you, you, you were rolling in dough. Of course, you had to give up good stats because if you went blacksmithing, or you went uh, blacksmithing, you actually got some really good stats for PvP and PVE. But if you were like an er herbalist miner, you made you made a lot of gold. Um, and it was a huge economy in the auction house. People bought that stuff up. Like if you if you if you spent the day farming ores. And you filled up your inventory of ores, like farming two, three hours. You went to the auction house, unloaded all that stuff. You logged out, you logged back in, all that stuff was sold. Like you literally, you're like, oh my God. You went out the next day, you er, you farmed all that ore, 
put it up in the auction house, it sold. Like there was a demand for it, everybody bought it. There was a like a, an amazing economy in Classic. Classic economy was insane. Anyway, um, the point that I'm trying to make is that um, in PvP there's templates, right? And then everything in the game is cut in half. Like, um, the good thing is, like, your, your stats, your personal stats right here, they go into PvP with you, I think. I don't know. If you have a leech, it doesn't go into Arena with you. Unless it's provided by your class. Like, for example, I think, I'm not 100% sure, I think the Hunter leech goes into Arenas with you. Um, if you go do... Maybe someone can confirm that. If you have Azerite traits, all Azerite traits are cut in half. And then in PvP, they might be cut in half or by 70%. Because a lot of a lot of the Azerite traits are actually nerfed. So let's look at, for example, all right, Deep Roots. I need you to look at the, what it says. Deep Roots versatility increased by 274. Now watch. What does it say now? What does it say now? Mother of God. It's, it's less. Hold on. Right? Now let me forfeit. 274. There we go. That's templates. Templates freaking like nerf your whole, all your class. It just nerfs it. So that's what I don't want in vanilla. Like if I get a Hand of Rag or a Thunder Fury, I don't want that freaking nerfed in classic BGs. I want to do BGs and I want to one-shot people. I don't want people to not get one-shot because Blizzard is concerned with people, um, casual players, not liking it you know what i mean yeah i kind of don't like the fact that that gear doesn't matter either like i don't like that either so like the thing is let's say you stack a bunch of azurite it's cut in half in pvp it's it cut in half i hate that i hate that you can't stack stuff you can't you can't do anything in pvp you can't do anything if your class is just op in pvp that's that's your class it's templates you have a template and you just do if your class is good then you just do well you know, it doesn't matter. You could just go in naked if you want. Removing the PvP vendor, PvP vendor killed WoW? No, 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 no. When Blizzard removed the PvP vendor, it uh, I think it created, for at least for me, I got lazy. I got lazy in PvP and I didn't push ratings, you know? I didn't push ratings at all. Every season, when whenever there, the, where there was PvP requirement, I always got 2200, always, every season. It was a pain in the butt, but I got it. You know, it forced me to play with good players and it forced me to actually push the rating, which is a pain in the butt. And then when they made it so that you could just grind it with Conquest, I kind of enjoyed it because it made it, 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 I didn't have to push so hard. And then um, I was able to actually just go at my own pace and then with the Conquest points get gear. I thought that that system was amazing. But when they got it, when they removed it completely and they made it so it's, now they made it so it's rating required. So it's kind of like going back to the old system, but not the same. I mean, you do get a reward at the end of the week. It, it is a good system, but I feel like, you know, the Conquest Vendor is better. Uh, Conquest Vendor is always going to be the best system, I think. Think about it. Like, let's say you don't have enough time, but you have enough time to grind maybe a couple hundred Conquest points per week. Or let's say you have an, an, if you get a certain amount of rating, you get a certain amount of conquest points per week. You could be like, all right, in a month I'll get I'll get the piece of gear that I want. I'll get the weapon that I want. You know, and then in a month you get it. I th I think it's, yeah, I think it's awesome. I think it's a great system. See, and and this is why I can't talk about classic because I'm too pessimistic. Look, look at the little details in there. How do we? Can we get up there? Hold on. We might be able to get up there. Wait, there's got to be a way. Hold on. There's got to be a where there's a will, there's a way. <laughs> Oh wait, all right, here we go, here we go. Damn it! Dude, we 